Creating your BPMN diagram in diagrams.net is really simple. From the options over on the left, you can simply expand the desired section. So for example, BPMN general, and that'll reveal a number of symbols that are available. You can see, for example, that the task symbol is available under the BPMN general option. If you want to add a symbol to your diagram, you just simply drag from the options on the left onto the diagramming pane in the center. That'll drop your shape onto the diagram area where you can edit it for your specific needs. You'll notice a number of handles around the shape, so you can click and drag on these to resize the symbol. And if you double click on the symbol, that'll put you into a text editing mode where you can update the text that's displayed on the symbol itself. You'll also notice that when you're in text edit mode, you get a number of text styling options that you can use while you're typing the text on the symbol. Clicking away from the symbol will return you back to the symbol edit mode, where again, if you select the symbol, in addition to being able to resize it, you also have a number of styling options available on the right. I caution you to use as you know, little styling as possible and only where necessary. And if you do decide to insert some color into your diagrams, be consistent. Continuing in this fashion, you can continue to drag and drop symbols that are available from the left into the pane in the center of the, the tool. Under the general option, you'll find additional useful symbols such as pools and lanes. And then under gateways, you'll find the number of gateways that are available. Again, the ones that are important for starting out are really just the exclusive gateway, parallel gateway, and inclusive gateway. And then finally under BPMN events, again, there's a number of events that are available but you can typically get away with just using the general start, intermediate, and general end symbols.